I got a little riddle for you. Who's six foot two, smokes like a chimney, likes to steal, and is currently totally fucked. You guessed it, me, your favorite anti-hero, Neil Bannon. My father always told me that I was a quitter. Now, you probably got a lot of questions, like, I have why am I fucked? With that my whole life. Why am I smoking in a Nicotine Anonymous meeting? Like the word and who's that? Tonight, to tell you that I have been so that's Madison, by the way. And we'll get to her and why she's got my wallet a little later. The important thing is, she gave me an idea. I finally had a solid plan. Okay, okay, okay. So, I'm guessing you don't have the 150 G's to base on. And that's why you're money? pretending like you don't see us when we're chasing you all over the fucking city. And right? now you're gonna beg for our mercy. Right? Not exactly, guys. Kill me if you want. If you give me a week, give you an extra 100 Gs. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, I'm, I'm getting way ahead of myself here. So I should probably mention that the goons work for the notorious prison gangster, Sonny Carr, who I owe a little money to. Don't let his Latin flair fool you. He will shoot you in the face. Let me back up a bit. All right, we got the hotel job, the hot chick who works at the front desk, Mr. B trying to hunt me down. Right. This is probably a good time to bring up Mr. B and how I used to work for him before I went freelance. He's a man of many virtues. Patience was not one of them. Anyway, blah, 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 I'm trying to triple my money. And so here we are at the beginning. I had 50 G's to my name, but I owed Sonny 100 today. I figured if I tripled my money, I can pay off my debt and ditch the criminal lifestyle forever. I mean, who wants to be a petty thief their whole life? In these situations, I always think of Grandpa's principles, which he liked to call the abandoned way. Here's an example. Set a goal. When you reach it, stop. I know what you're thinking. If you owe Sonny 150 G's and you're holding that much in your hands, you should probably stop. But hey, we're all human. <laughs> all in. I've been trying to get a hold of you for two hours. What, did you forget about your last job today? Right? Just get over to the hotel now. It's D-Day, Zeke, and we're a little short. Short? How short? All right, we've got two seconds flat to pull off this job, and you're talking about short? I had kings. What was I supposed to do, fold? Don't worry about it. it. just means I'm not retiring today. Oh, my God. You gambled it all away. I'm here. Let's just visualize the game plan. Okay, let's do this. Okay, when you get in the lobby, you're going to convince the hotel clerk to give you the key to Haskell's suite. So I'm impersonating this house. Right, so the elevator's down the hall, take it to the 11th floor. Is it left or right out of the elevator? It's a right. You're gonna look for a laptop on a desk. You take care of the transfer, and I'll take care of the rest. Hey, uh, I know you're done working for Mr. B, but I was just thinking- You're bringing up Mr. B right now? Hey, you're the one who's down 150 G's to Sunny, all right? So don't get all yelly on me. I don't know, I just thought maybe you might be able to help. Help with what? Getting me killed? Hey, listen, we've got less than 10 minutes now. Are you sure you want to do this? No, I'm best under pressure. Okay, I know, but you need to stay focused on this job. Bannon, look out! Ah! 